brought you regular updates on the state of the ailing Charlotte Matleke Hospital in central Johannesburg. Now its staff are appealing to President Cyril Ramaphosa to intervene by creating a plan and a budget for the old facility. It remains partially closed after, after April's fire. That blaze exposed a host of problems there, including a serious lack of fire safety measures. Surgeries are now delayed and it's putting strain on other hospitals who've picked up the slack. Getting the facility fully up and running falls largely on the Houting Infrastructure Department. Spokesperson Wong Yue Gambu is live with us now. Wong Yue, thank you so much for your time. Uh, the staff at the hospital say they're worried about the second half of December uh, when that is the busiest time for emergencies and trauma and now how Ding has entered the fourth wave of COVID-19 infections. The emergency unit is shut. Will that stay shut this festive season and what's being done to assist these healthcare workers in getting that facility up to scratch? A lot has been done and good morning and thank you very much for the opportunity to get the hospital back into um, its running order, considering the fact that, as you have mentioned, we are right in the middle of a fourth wave, with, with, which may prove to be devastating, especially to public health facilities. However, we need to make a couple of points so that even the clinicians at Charlotte Matlaege understand where we are coming from as the department one. We have been using our own budget that was allocated for maintenance to try and speed up all the work that needed to be done. However, we also need help from Treasury, which is the Houting um, Finance. And luckily, the MEC for Finance in the province is going to deliver her midterm budget speech uh, tomorrow. And we are hopeful that that will allow us some reprieve but most importantly, to unlock the funds that are needed to speed up the work that already has started at Charlotte Matlaege, considering all the pressures that um, it is experiencing at the moment. Uh, Wong Yue, uh, Dr. Mohammed, who is the head of internal medicine at Charlotte Matlaege, says that they're having maintenance problems every single day burst water pipes recently. He says the elevators are a problem. He says no plan has been presented to them. They don't know what's going on. And yet you're saying there's a lot that's been done. So where's the disconnect? The disconnect is in the fact that, firstly, we appreciate the pressure that all the clinicians, all the health workers, including the patients, that go to uh, Charlotte McLeague. We are very regretful of all these delays. However, we also need to point out, especially and remind the good doctor that we have been meeting with them as clinicians on a weekly basis in order to appraise them on the progress that has been happening. And we also understand that they would have to go to the highest clinic, uh, to the highest um, office and seek intervention from there. And we also respect their right to do so. However, we will continue engaging with them because we cannot stop talking to them, appraising them and keeping them up to speed on the efforts that the department is doing. We need funds. Those funds need to come from Treasury or the provincial um, treasury in Gauteng. And that takes process, uh, time. It is a process that must be followed according to the law, as well as all the prescripts that govern such um, unlocking of funds, as well as the work that needs to be done. We have done what we can, and we continue to do so, including having our contractors work around the clock, seven days, and, and, and even over time. We know that a hospital is a place that operates every day. There are no holidays, there are no um, breaks for it. And we also understand the need for us to speedily complete the work, which yeah. is why we are even pushing our contractors on our side. Uh, Wong Yue, I, I hear your plea. I hear what you're saying about getting money from Treasury. Uh, this is literally a, a, an issue of, of life and death. Uh, so as much as there are processes, is there no instruments? Are there no instruments that can be used to speed up the process? We understand that, there, that there's, you know, rules and laws that have to be followed, but surely something can be done. We have already done what...
All right. Uh, we were struggling with signal uh, with Wang Yue just before we connected. At least we were able to get through most, most of that interview. Thank you so much, Wang Yue Gambu, for joining us. She's uh, from the Houting Infrastructure Department. Uh, she is the spokesperson for that department. Unfortunately, we couldn't continue that interview because of those technical issues. We apologize.